NASA scientists announced a kind of cosmic headline today, a discovery that could rewrite our ideas about what it takes to sustain life and what else might be living out there in the universe. John Berman on what NASA found. Life out there. We've imagined aliens, <laughs> visitors, we mean no but the world's newest science celebrity doesn't look like that, but rather this. I'd like to introduce to you the bacterium GFAJ-1. It redefines life as we know it. Until now, we believed all life on Earth needed six things to grow and survive. Carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, sulfur, and phosphorus. But this newly discovered bacteria can live without phosphorus and thrive instead on arsenic, poison. This means life here can survive with different combinations of elements than ever imagined which means we've cracked open the door to what's possible for life elsewhere in the universe. More places out there can support life, and there might be more out there in general than we thought. Scientists now say there might be three times as many stars as previously believed, 300 sextillion. That's a three with 23 zeros. We've been undercounting red dwarfs, small dim stars about a third of the mass of our sun, more stars likely means more planets and more possibilities for life. Our universe just got a whole lot bigger. John Berman, ABC News, New York.